Landslide Risk Information Portal Landslide is one of the major disaster events in Sri Lanka, which has increased its frequency and left people homeless than any other disaster event. It is important to visualize the characteristic of landslide vulnerable communities by scientific communities and authorities for decision-making purposes. NBRO launched the Landslide Risk Information Portal. It involves a web-based geographic information system, which offers opportunities for maintaining statistical information combined with geospatial data. The Landslide Risk Information Portal is developed by overlaying the Landslide Hazard Zonation Map with satellite images. We will deep dive to see what a Landslide Risk Information Portal offers and how to enhance the service to you. First type National Building Research Organization website link in the search bar. Under Web Services, the Landslide Risk Information Portal is located as the first application. Once click it, it will direct to the portal. Initially, the user guide has been provided for the flexible use of the beneficiaries. By scrolling down each layer and widget has been explained in detail. Once you click OK the interface of the portal looks like this. The interface consists of a map layout and functional widgets. In the search tab, you can directly type the name of the required location or its coordinates. The default extent tab will help you navigate to the default extent. At the same time by clicking my location you could check the hazard level of your current location as well. The main feature of this section is the layer list tab. Once you click on it, it will indicate all the functional layers of landslide hazards and risks. Once you zoom in, you could see all the other layers. Under the landslide hazard 1 into 10,000 scale, a manual of structural requirements for landslide resilient houses of each hazard zones has been provided to safeguard the life and the property of vulnerable people. Let's go to each layer one by one from bottom to top. The first layer is the Special Investigation Survey. National Building Research Organization performs special investigations for identified risks associated with human settlements, infrastructure, and plantations. Based on special investigations immediate recommendations are provided to district and divisional secretaries and other governmental institutions to ensure the safety of life. Once you click on the SPI point of your preference, it will pop up the information along with the images. To correlate the hazard situation in your administrative area, administrative boundaries such as district, DSC, and GN divisions are incorporated. Buildings are one of the main groups of elements at risk in a hazardous event. It comprises the inhabitants and the properties accommodated in the buildings. Buildings located in very high landslide hazard zones are displayed. Once the user clicks on the building footprints, only the basic details appear. The second icon is the base map gallery. According to the requirement, the base map can be selected. Third icon is a legend and this shows the legend of all the active layers. The fourth icon is situation awareness. It allows you to specify a location on the map and analyze information on different functional layers within the specified area. Once you click on the layer, a table will pop up where you can digitize a point, line, or polygon and define the buffer distance to get the summary. By clicking those tabs, you can find the special investigation locations related information and household information summary. If you need detailed information, you can download it bulkily separately or print the details by clicking these buttons. At the same time, you could get the summary of the required Gramanilidary divisions as well. First, type the required GN division, then a tab will pop up. Once you click the three dots, a separate tab will pop up with the summary of the required GN division. Option 6 is used to take a printout of the map layout. Once you click on the print icon, the print layout will appear, where you can add your map title 
select the layout size and alter the additional settings. Once you click the print, it will create a map as per your required file format. The next set of functional widgets is Swipe, Attribute, Coordinates, and Scale. The Measurement tab helps to measure the area, distance, and coordinates. Then the map with all the edits can be shared through several options such as Mail, Facebook, and Twitter as per the requirements. By clicking the link options can edit as per the sharing options. Thank you for watching the video series on the Landslide Risk Information Portal.